Thanks for staying with us. This is Night Vision on NDTV Hindu. Never heard of Jan Walker? Well, for starters, he's a double Olympic silver medalist and also the skipper of the English Green Dragon team in the coveted Volvo Ocean Race. Better yet, Jan was in Chennai today to interact with sailors as they hit the waters at the Indian International Regatta. Take a look. It was day three of competitive racing at the India International Regatta and the sailors were in for a pleasant surprise. Ian Walker, a two-time silver medalist at the Olympics, was in town interacting with the young guns and sharing some of his experiences as well. Given the fact that Indian sailors have tremendous potential, the sailor from Southampton is here to try and popularize the sport even further. I'm here because uh, we're going to start to do some work with the uh, Yachting Association of India to try and work on increasing the amount of sailing and getting more and more of the young children sailing. So I was very keen to come and look at the international regatta. For me personally, the first step is to get hundreds and hundreds of young people enjoying the sport and learning about sailing. It's for the sailors, it was a great opportunity to meet one of their heroes. After all, it's not every day that you get to share ideas with a sailing legend. It's so nice to come to this together because we can ask him about some questions, how it is to sail uh, by ocean ways and how, our question about the ways. Not many people in our country have never done it, like only army people, if you have seen. Only they have taken sailing as a career, no civilian has taken sailing. So I think he can encourage and promote people to do it. Luigi, as his close friends call him, has a keen sense of humor as well. He believes that if sailing is to become as popular as cricket, then this needs to happen. I'm not sure. Maybe we have to get Sachin Tendulkar a boat or something, get him to go sailing when he finishes cricket. Well, we'll leave that for Sachin to decide. Either way, Ian's plan is to try and get more Indian sailors to compete in international events with the aim of breaking into the Olympics eventually. In Chennai with camera person Arun, Viru Murgapan for NDTV Hindu. And joining us this evening on Night Vision is Ian Walker, a two-time silver medalist at the Olympics, who is in town interacting with the youngsters participating in the International Regatta. So Ian, first time in Chennai, have you been enjoying yourself so far? Oh, we had a great time today. It was uh, amazing conditions, big waves and, and good wind, um, just off the harbour. So. It, was, it was a tough challenge for the kids today. Mm -hmm. Of course, and uh, I'm going to just draw your attention to that one comment that you made. How do you make sailing popular? Give by Sachin Tendulkar a boat. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I heard he's God around here, certainly at the moment. <laughs> um, so no, he's I mean, on it, his way to a century as no, well. It, so. it is important to have to have role models in, and get the get the sport popularised. I think you know sailing is a fantastic sport for India. You've got such a beautiful coastline. Um, and, and you know the grow in, in such a growing country, and sailing is a sport of the future. It's environmentally sound. I think the motto of the regatta is zero percent pollution, and yes. you know that's that's what sailing can be like. All right, and you got a glimpse of the inter Indian International Regatta as well. So, what's your feedback? I mean, what kind of feedback are you giving us on that? Are you impressed? Well, I watched. I watched the good. The first race was a good one between uh, one of the top Indian. Uh, there were 60 boats, and uh, the uh, Indian uh, who won the race had a very tight battle with two kids from Singapore. So that was good to see. He just overtook them at the finishing line. So that was popular. But it, um, you know, it was it, like I say, it was difficult conditions. I think the first time I sailed on the sea, I was 14 years old. And um, today there was, there was children out there of eight years old sailing in three meter waves. So, so that's a good start for them. Yeah, the, the seas were quite choppy in <coughs> fact. So uh, tell us a, a little more about the purpose of your visit here. Well, I've been asked over um, by the Yachting Association of India to try and help uh, increase the popularity of sailing, try and help um, coach not just the sailors but coaches to try and uh, get sailing spread all around the country. And, um, and then hopefully we'll get more people involved, we'll get more talented sailors coming through and we can, we can also work at the top of the pyramid, we get more people in at the bottom but also work at the top with a view to winning medals at the Asian Games, the Asian Sailing Championships and, and maybe the Olympics one day. Now you're talking about getting youngsters, right? How, how do you plan on doing that? You need to get them really young then. At what age would you target then? Well, I think, for me personally, I think eight, under eight is, is quite tricky. I've got two children, mm -hmm. they're six and eight years old, and the six-year-old, I think, is still too young. Some people sell from a very, very young age, mm -hmm. but I think to really understand and learn, then, then, you know, eight is a very good age to start, and that seems to be the age they were starting today. Okay. 
Um, I think it's a question of providing facilities. You need to provide the boats. Sailing has a reputation for being a very expensive sport, and yes. we need to break that down. And, and you know, today all of the boats there were provided by the organisers um, for the children to sail. And maybe if we can set up regional sailing centres all around India, maybe we can get the school children doing it as part of their curriculum in some, some towns that are coast, uh, close to lakes or, or, or the sea. Mm -hmm. um, then that, you've got to make it accessible for people at yes. a reasonable cost. All right, and in fact, in India, we do not have so many people, or so many kids uh, taking to sailing because you have more popular sports like cricket, for example. But uh, now looking at the infrastructure, looking at the, in, uh, the potential of the sailors who you have seen today, where do you think is the difference between sailors, young sailors in India, and that in, uh, those in other countries? Well, I, I don't think there is any difference with the raw material. There's no reason why a, a, a child or a, a, an adult from India shouldn't be just as good as anybody else. It, it's a question of the opportunity, They're having the facilities and having the equipment and having the tuition and the coaching and, and having the opportunities to sail against good sailors. And, and that's the only way to improve is to, is, to, is to lots and lots of practice and hard work like, like most things in life. All right, now looking at the kids you've, been, uh, you've met today and the kind of potential, do you think as a country we should be you know, um, playing host to more regattas like this or probably send in our, our kids to more events abroad? Well, it's, it's a little bit of both. I think if you have talented individuals, then in order for them to grow beyond the national level, they need to compete against the best in the world. Yes. Maybe it's too soon for that right now. Maybe not. There were some very good kids today. So, and it's certainly competing in the region locally. I know some of them are off to Thailand. Asian Games are in China next year. They have to qualify still. Yes. Um, but I think that um, you know, India could have a fantastic international regatta. Look at, look at some of the some of the resorts, some of the places, um, but, but at first you need the facilities and, and, and to lay on a, a good regatta, otherwise people will only come once, you know, and you need to do a really good job, and you know, this was a big start today, you know, having good races in good wind and, and good conditions with well-run uh, management of the racing is, is a very good start. All right, and in fact, over here in this regatta, we are seeing Optimist and 29ers, two different types of boats, and of course we do ha know that uh, we have laser radials and different varieties of boats. And just yeah. tell us, as a starter, as a beginner, which kind of a boat should, be, uh, should the sailors be sailing? And uh, what's the difference really? Well, it, it, it is a problem sailing stuff. Cricket, it's easy. You have a bat and a ball and everybody understands that you've got to hit the ball and not get out. And sailing, it's a little bit harder because there's all these different boats and it's a very good question. Um, but it, I think for the youngsters, it's quite simple. There's the Optimist Dinghy. It's the most popular boat in the world up until the age of about 14. Then, then that's a very good boat to start with. It's a single-handed boat. Um, then that leads normally into boats like the Laser. Single-handed, it's, it's it's more accessible. They're simpler boats, they're cheaper boats, not so technical. Anybody in the world can sail those boats. Uh, so that's, that's an easy route and I think that's the best place to start. The two-man boats are, are slightly more complicated, generally slightly more expensive, but they have one really big advantage which is you have the teamwork of two people working together. And some people maybe don't want to captain a boat, maybe they want to crew. So, so I, I do believe you, you need to try and explore both and I think right avenues. here in Chennai as well, we have a benefit of that because we have such a vast coastline. So it, it is still to be explored, I guess. Yeah, I have 7,500 uh, kilometers, I believe. Yes. Right. Now, finally, before we let you go, um, looking at the future ahead, do you think there is a possibility of an Indian probably bagging an o Olympic medal in sailing sometime? Well, it's certainly not impossible. But mm -hmm. it, the, the, the Olympics is getting harder and harder every year. Mm -hmm. every, particularly in the smaller sports like sailing, it's, everybody's getting more and more professional all the time so so you, you, we need to start now and um, everything's possible if you have a dream and you work hard it's all possible oh wow so i hope it gets bigger and better with years to come the regatta and sailing it's been a pleasure having you on our show thanks a lot for coming thank thanks. you very much well more sports news to come but before that let's get you this gold and silver eighth today